Most of the time, when we designers get a pattern, we're getting it from either a print team or a print house where we bought it. Or for us freelancers, we may have created it ourselves. And usually the print is created at full size, but we need to show it in a sketch that's maybe a quarter of the size. So if you drag it into your swatches panel and then add it to your sketch, you automatically notice that it's too big. And sometimes the placement might look a little funny. So let's talk about how to combat both of these issues. First, how do you get that pattern to be proportional to your sketch? Well, you're going to use the scale tool, which allows you to scale objects as well as patterns. Now for this, we want the objects to remain the same size. It's the pattern we want to scale. So you'll select the object or objects with the pattern and double click the scale tool. Once the dialog box appears, go to the objects section and uncheck all options except transform patterns. This will ensure that the only thing that will scale is the print. Your objects, the stroke weights, and any effects will remain as is. Then you're going to go to the scale section and begin changing the percentage in the uniform box. The uniform scale ensures that your print will scale proportionally. Now, if you're unsure about how much smaller the print needs to get, check the preview box in the lower left-hand corner so that you can see the print scaling within your sketch. If it's not small enough or you've made it too small, update the percentage again, then uncheck and recheck the preview box to see the updated scale. You can also click in the horizontal or vertical percentage boxes to see the scale update as well. Once you're happy with the size, press OK. Now that you've got the size right, let's talk about placement. There are a lot of reasons you might need to move or rotate a pattern in your sketch. Some of my main reasons I like to do it is to make the pattern appear less uniform or to match up stripes or to match the grain. When you add a print to multiple parts of a drawing, the print aligns straight across the sketch, which looks very unrealistic and also a little like a novice illustrator user. You want your sketch to look as realistic as possible. So the first thing you wanna do is to rotate any patterns that may need to follow a different grain. And usually that happens on a sleeve or sometimes you might have something on the bias. Double click the rotate tool and as you did with the scale tool, uncheck transform objects and only leave transform pattern selected. Check the preview box so you can see the pattern rotating in the sketch and then change the angle of the desired alignment. If you prefer to rotate that pattern manually, select the object, click the rotate tool once and while pressing the tilde key, drag in the direction you want the pattern to rotate. You'll see a box moving, but you won't actually see the new position of the print until you let go of the mouse. You may need to repeat this a few times before you get the desired placement. Your final touch is to move the pattern. Choose the object with the selection tool, and again, holding the tilde key, click the mouse and drag the print in the direction you want it to move. Continue this process until the print is placed how you want it. And what you're going for is you're trying to make the pattern look more randomly placed as it would on an actual garment. If you're aligning stripes, you would use the same method. Rotate the stripes if necessary, then select and move them until they properly align on the sketch. These final steps when you're working with print, pattern, or texture ensure that your color CADs look professional and accurate so that a buyer or a manufacturer truly understands how the print should look in your design. Thanks for watching this week's digital fashion tip. Be sure to leave any feedback or questions in the comments section below. And also, if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you on 7th Avenue.